yeah, so we're just going to stay on that can behavior um, topic and we're not going to go into too much, but um, always kind of reminding people that energy and calories of courses, it's virtually the exact same thing. So, you know, we always try and say like, don't feed too much because if you feed too many calories, you're giving the horse energy. So a horse, um, so horses express their energy and um, that they're getting from their diet in their behavior. So, you know, perfect example that we have, we had a, a big bale of hay, gave it out to three horses. There was a stock horse, a quarter horse and a thoroughbred. Stock horse, um, they ate about 450 kilos in three days. The stock horse just got fat. The quarter horse um, just stayed as a quarter horse and the thoroughbred was running around the paddock like an Arabian tail up in the air, absolute twat. Um, so it really shows each horse an individual and obviously, you know, thoroughbreds, they are a little bit more flighty and he very much expresses his excess calories in his energy. Um, and yeah, really just showed that perfect example for us. So the little image on the right, you know, if your horse, if you're feeding a lot, your horse is getting fatter um, and you might find it's getting quite hyper as well. Eat less calories, eat less feed. Um, and then same with the horse, if it's losing condition or it's just a little bit flat, a little bit dull, not really giving you the, the like what you're asking for it, then it's probably searching for more calories, more energy. So then just upping your feed um, to suit what your horse is actually needing. Next, Beth. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so we thought this is a very simple way of just explaining um, having a constant diet uh, well, so sorry, explaining what you're giving your horse um, for its workload. So this example is a constant diet that's being fed every single day, Monday to Sunday, regardless of what the actual horse is doing for work. So you'll see um, the green on the buckets is just the amount of feed. And then the pink is um, the feed that it didn't actually need. So obviously like Monday was a rest day, so it didn't need a full feed but I got a full feed anyway. Tuesday, it was a light work day. So it still got a full feed and you'll see that, it, you know, there was still that excess, excess calories, excess energy in the little pink mark. Wednesday, it had a moderate work day, so it got fed perfectly. And then so on and so forth. Come the end of the week, you'll see that that bucket, bucket is, um, you know, full of excess energy, excess calories. So you might have a lovely quiet stock horse. It's just gotten fatter. You might have a thoroughbred that's now off its head um, and is running around the paddock like a lunatic, um, hopefully without you on it. So the next scenario, if it works, there we go. So the next scenario is changing the diet to actually match the horse's workload. So Monday, rest day, we're gonna reduce the calories a lot. So the calories in you know, versus calories out, they're the same. So horse doesn't need a lot of calories, we're not feeding it a lot of calories. Tuesday, it was a light work day, gave it a, um, a bit of a bigger feed. Wednesday, you know, fed it for a moderate day. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, to Sunday, end of the week, it doesn't have that bank up of excess calories slash energy. So hopefully your horse has stayed quite calm, quite relaxed. Um, you know, and it's not been a bit of a nightmare to ride. And then, so keeping it um, in what the guys are feeding as well, just to kind of explain what we're talking about when we're talking about moderate work days. So obviously giving your horse all the roughage it needs, whether it's in pasture, hay, chaff, um, fiber sources. And then this diet's got two kilos of easy sport, which is that low at the grain-free and low sugar um, pellet, and then one cup of easy oil. So a nice calm um, source of energy without adding in an extra, adding in any grains. And then your light work day. So now we're gonna reduce those calories. We're still keeping the roughage the same, so obviously that's so important. So you're still getting your seven and a half kilos of roughage of some sort. We've now dropped the easy sport down to one kilo. Um, and we've just topped up the diet with 100 grams of Easy Keeper. So we're keeping the diet balanced. So they're now no longer deficient in vitamins and minerals or any of the essential amino acids. They need that, you know, obviously they need to keep building protein, proteins, muscles, things like that. Um, and we've added in just half a cup of Easy Oil. So you're still getting enough 
like um, cool calories, cool energy to give you the little bit of oomph you need, but without, you know, sending them off their chops. And then rest day, just your roughage and 500 grams of your easy keeper, which is that balance of pellet. So they're getting the vitamins and minerals, nothing else. They're, you know, they're still gonna look amazing. They're still gonna feel 100%, but we're not giving them any excess energy or calories for them just to, you know, step out of line. We wanna keep it very, very basic for them. And so, Just on that as well, Robert, you know how you're talking about the combination of the Biomare and the 150 Essential that you've been using for your other horses? The slide yeah. before with the Sport and Keeper, that's in the similar sense with what you can do from, from a fibre point of view. So the Easy Keeper is like the 150 Essential, but it's purely based on fibre. And then the Easy Sport is like the Biomare, but it's purely based on fibre. So that's the same combination that you can do if you're looking for a fibre alternative. Yeah, so we're mainly just on the backs of the bags, all we were going to talk about was how it is explained on the back of the bag. So when you look at the table that says recommended feeding rates and your energy and your weights, that isn't designed to make you feed more feed and um, for us to sell more feed. It's purely nutritionally based so that we're feeding your horse for the right amount of calories and the right amount of energy that they actually require. So um, yeah, so just sticking within those realms of what the, the numbers on the backs of the bag say, and then how we've balanced the Easy Keeper and Easy Sport, you'll actually see at the bottom of the bag, it says um, keeping it balanced. So there's a little way, like a little box and it has a little set of weigh scales. And that will say like, for instance, for every kilo that you remove out of the diet of Easy Sport, um, top up with 200 grams of, you know, Easy Keeper. So, um, you know, your, your recommended amount is two kilos of Easy Sport. We've only, we're only feeding one kilo because it's a rest day. So we just top up with uh, 200 grams of Easy Keeper on top of the one kilo and it's perfect. Diet is now balanced. So that was kind of- Did the, my uh, screen come up with Easy Sport or? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Yeah. So this is what you're talking about here. If, so for instance, if you're looking at a 500 kilo horse in moderate working, you're only feeding one kilo then that's one kilo less than the recommended feeding rates. So what you do is you come down here and then you can see that every kilo less than the recommended rates, then you add in either the 300 leaf or the two ends of Easy Keeper. So that's a way, and that's all on the back of the bags as well with our complete feed. So if you're unsure and you do find that you're feeding underneath the recommended rates, have a look down the bottom with the Keeper Balance section and it usually explains who's going to pop up with those balances.